Hi, I'm Stephanie. Um, I am a teen instructor at Visual Arts Mississauga, and today what we're going to do is we're going to experiment on how we can actually make paint from food, spices, and tea in our own kitchen. So I have an array of different choices here. You can make uh, a nice yellow out of turmeric, which is a spice, uh, paprika, which is a spice. So here are the two here out of different teas, um, green tea, black tea. You can experiment with all different kinds of teas. You can um, use a beet. Beets, they, have you ever eaten a beet? They just are sopping wet with pigment, a nice red color. How about your parents' coffee, leftover coffee from the morning? You can use that as well. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to do this. So there's all different ways of um, applying the paint. So what you will need is, let me get this out of the way. Oops, I just spilt that. Um, a sketchbook or some paper. And what we're going to do is we're going to experiment with the different colors that we can actually create. You'll need a paintbrush and some paper towel, which I'm going to wipe up my mess over here. So as you can see, out of the turmeric that I showed you, you have a nice yellow. There's curries, paprika, beets, red cabbage, um, just a leaf of red cabbage. Um, you can combine red cabbage and turmeric and it makes a nice green color. It's sort of turned a little purple here. You can use parsley, fresh parsley as well, which I have here. Um, Rosehip tea, green tea. Um, how about coffee and cream? Maybe one of your parents uh, drinks coffee or cream, and cream, sorry. Uh, black tea and just plain coffee. And you'll see there's little bits of the coffee still on my page, which rubs out later on. And I'm gonna show you how to do this, how to create a pigment. So I'm gonna get myself another sheet of paper. I'm gonna set that aside. What you'll need is a container, either a palette for paint, or you can use a cup, um, your choice or any other little containers uh, you might find in the house. So I have a little bits of beets here. The key here is you want to add a little hot water. If you don't use hot water, the pigment isn't as strong and you might want to let it sit. Not too much water, just a little bit of a couple drops um, of uh, water in there. A little bit more of your pigment or your spice, I'm gonna put my, uh, this is my favorite, this is the turmeric, which is actually one of the spices in curry. Um, and you'll see the pigment is, is um, nice and bright when adding hot water. Now you don't wanna start painting with the hot water. You want it to set for, sit for a while and you want your pigment to become a little stronger. So in this case with the beets, you'll see they start bleeding out. They'll need to be sitting in this for just a little while. I might want to add a little bit more beets to it um, to get a nice dark red. So once your pigments are ready to go, I'm going to put this aside because this is hot. And um, I'll take a couple of my colors here. Oh, and I also have a big container of red beet. No, sorry, not red beet, um, red cabbage. This actually makes a purple color. As you can see here, I'm gonna make a strip. It actually works almost like watercolor. So a lot of pigment, uh, sorry, not a lot of pigment, a lot of water and less pigment. You'll wanna let that dry. You'll need another container of water. If you want to clean out your brush a little bit before you put it into another pigment and let's try this um, turmeric you'll see there's a little bit of particles in your paint that's okay once this dries they will flake off that's some of the um, the spice that isn't um, hasn't been diluted here's some rosehip tea which has a little bit of a red tone to it as well. You don't need to add water. You just put your 
brush into the into your um, container and wash it out maybe squeeze out excess water as you go um, so once that's dry I'm gonna grab another piece of paper so these here are dry you can actually make your pigments a little bit more concentrated by putting more layers over top. So for instance here, there's, there's some pigment, I can rub that off with my finger or with a paper towel. And I can put another, I, look, I think this was paprika. So if I put another layer of paprika over top, that area will get a little darker once it dries. So you can start making your paintings a little darker with layering. So I, and um, I hope you have a lot of fun doing this, experimenting with paint. And here's a piece that I, that I created, which was from an apple. I had a little, added a little bit of um, pencil crayon to it. So you can have lots of fun. So if you don't have paint at home, yes, Food will do it. Have fun, kids.